Hey guys, today I want to talk about the most epic collapse of a card I've ever seen in my life. It is Birthing Pod Online. Uh, I want to focus on Birthing Pod Online because it, it went from 21 plus tickets to one ticket, one ticket and a little extra. It went down 94%. Very few cards can go down this fast. Um, this is what happens when a card is banned. A lot of you want to know about Splinter Twin. A lot of you might invest in Splinter Twin. Splinter Twin is putting up the same top eights, is putting up the same number of wins, it has the same percentage of the people playing the deck, and it's considered the number one deck right now, just like Birthing Pod. Now, here's the dangerous part about Splinter Twin. That card has even less value if it gets banned than Birthing Pod. Birthing Pod at least has some EDH value, right? Splinter Twin, less, I mean, much less in my opinion. Anyway, the danger here exists that Wizard of the Coast in Modern has shown the ability to ban any card they want to ban. I mean, they banned some cards that were not good, like Wild Nakato. There was no reason to ban it. Wild Nakato still seeing no plays. They banned Bitter Blossom. Again, yeah, Bitter Blossom's a little better now than it used to be, but still, no reason to ban Bitter Blossom. And they will go ahead and they will ban this card, they will unban that card, they will ban this card, and they, most of the cards they unbanned, I don't know if there was one card they unbanned that actually made a top tier one deck. Uh, Bitter Blossom is probably the closest card they unbanned. I mean, Wild Nakato is seeing no play right now. Uh, and, you know, that dragon, Gorger Dragon, absolutely useless, in my opinion, because you're playing Legacy. That's not the type of deck that you would want to play in Legacy. And that's not the type of way combo that you want to pull off because there's no protection in those two colors in red and black. You want to be in blue if you're going to pull off a combo. Now, when you look at a card and it becomes unbanned, the price spikes and all these people like, or maybe that's a card like a Bloodbraid Elf who people spike the price in that card for no reason. It was not banned. But the price of, it was not unbanned, but the price of a card who is, a lot of people believe is going to be unbanned, spikes up and then goes straight down. But the price of a card that is banned goes straight down. And this is a prime example why you cannot treat Magic the Gathering for at least modern as a investment because of what can happen with the ban list. Even they can ban legacy cards too if they wanted to. So like this model should be exactly the same if they ban something like Force of Will or even something like the Dual Lands, right? Then Dual Lands, there'd be no reason to use them except for EDH.